hey guys, let's just get my sling around here so I can, oh, look at that, I can get into things. Oh wait, I can adjust it really quick. I'm still learning how to use this, but let's get a little more space so that we can get into stuff easily. Let's also attach some stuff externally to it. Let's have it with some, uh, some really solid materials and water resistance, even some anti-theft stuff. What do you say? This is the Peak Designs 10 liter everyday sling bag, okay? And this thing, for the size, <laughs> this sucker has the most innovative features in a bag this size you could ever imagine. I'm not typically one for a sling personally in my everyday use, but however, using this guy and just getting used to it, I'm kind of like, really like, maybe I wanna be a sling guy. Maybe I do wanna do this sort of thing for like, as, a, as like more often. Okay, as I said, it's 10 liters, so it's a small pack, but here's how it feels and looks when it's on, and it is just like, it's like, you just wanna like, you, like it's so maneuverable. Like I can't even explain to you what it's like to wear this instead of a backpack, to be limited in terms of how much space, but the amount of organization and space you do have and how tight and close to my body that is, how that moves exactly how I move, how it's also very quick to get it sort of further away from my body so I can easily get into it. Dude, the features on this fucker are Unbelievable. Now, not all of you are sling people, but I've packed this out for what I think would be an ideal use for it. This is great for, this is, here's my gist on this bag before I show you all the pockets and stuff like that. One of the things that's true about this bag is it's great for purpose-oriented things. Photography, lenses and camera. Drone shit, like drone and shit for your drone. I don't have a drone. I don't know if you could tell that. I don't know why you people need special bags, but I know that you do. To have your drone in there and controllers and VR goggles and fucking snacks and shit like that. <laughs> I don't know why you need. But this thing's kind of purpose built for purpose oriented tasks like photography, drone stuff or two that come to mind. Inside, the way that it's organized, the way that you've got these little things here and the way that you can customize them and set them up, I'll show you in a second, means it's great for totally geeking out on specific gear oriented tasks. Okay, so it's great at the gear oriented tasks. It's also great for expandability. Even though it's such a tight, small little unit, the truth is this pouch on the outside bottom here, there's two pouches. There's the main pouch right here and then there's this front pouch and this front pouch actually expands. I've got my little gorilla pod guy here that is kind of hard to get out of these things, but I've got that because I've got this thing set up as a rig for photography right now. And so I expand these straps all the way out like that. And this front pocket, you can clearly see, it's that guy right there. You can actually fit like a full water bottle in there. And you've got these straps on the outside, which you can use to carry tons of other stuff, like a jacket. I know a lot of people who use this and they carry their jacket around with them when they don't need their jacket, just clip, just slide it right in there, cinch it down and it's fine. Carrying external accessories like this, even a yoga mat or anything that you can get on the outside, it is dope because it's a little bag but you can carry big shit. All right, number three, which has to be said, is it's made with excellent materials, okay? Extremely water resistant, extremely abrasion resistant. We've got water sealed zippers, okay? We've got extremely comfortable straps and there's not too much material in anything. There is padding all around the bag, so whatever's in here is protected way more so than other bags. Okay, so your actual design and build on this thing are killer. Also, there's a laptop in there that fits up to like a 13 inch laptop, which I'm gonna show you in a second, but my last tip on this is just it's like extremely fun to use. It's really fun just to throw on and have around and it's like the ultimate sort of like, this is what a diaper bag should be. Like this actually is how I wanna do diaper bags for my family. Stuff you gotta carry with you, I don't need that much. And it fits on, it's sling tight, I can carry it with me everywhere. I got my camera in there, I got the stuff protected that I needed and I've got the diapers and the wipes and the creams and I've got, the, I just love the idea of just like never leaving the house 
without this. It's totally doable. Okay, let me show you the laptop thing here because I think this is actually a deal breaker for a lot of us. It's a deal breaker for me because I actually use a 15 inch laptop, okay? Just plain and simple. If this fit a 15 inch laptop and it felt this fun, I would be having a serious identity crisis. As it is, I know that it's not gonna be able to be my work bag, okay? Because I don't have a small enough laptop, I use a bigger laptop. Um, however, there is, back here in the back, a very lovely padded laptop compartment, which, if you pack out the bag a lot, it can be hard to get your laptop in and out of in a little ways. My, uh, my wife's old 13 inch, she has an 11 inch downstairs, which I'm gonna grab here in a second and show you how easy that is. But the 13 inch uh, MacBook Air fits in there perfectly. You'll see that it does come up over the top and that is by design. The lip of the top of the bag actually comes over it. So you'll be able to zip right around it. I feel a little bit worried for those delicate little corners, the thinnest part of the back of the, of the guy that are up there. Um, however, I will say that to be able to have a fucking laptop with you when you're cruising around like this with just this stuff, this is dope. Let's say you have a regular old iPad. Dude, you're stoked. Let's say you have a big iPad Pro. This is the 12 inch iPad Pro where when you open this sucker up, you've got a keyboard and all this other shit in there. I mean, the thing is basically a computer with a stylus. Oh, dude, you're stoked. It fits right in there just a little bit snugger than this. Like, it means it comes up a little bit less. It's actually perfect size for that. Which this fact right here has me kind of thinking like this could be my little rig for when I need to go out for the day, just do email, keep myself from video editing, keep myself from Photoshop, keep myself from all that shit and just use my iPad Pro when I need it. This thing is is crazy fun to use. I'm talking about the bag, not the iPad Pro. The iPad Pro is pretty fun too. Okay, and then here's the small, I think this is like an 11 inch MacBook Air. Oh, watch this. Oh, it just literally goes away. So if you're like, if you're working with an 11 inch MacBook Pro, dude, this bag, you are so stoked about. It fits right in there effortlessly, easily, co completely protected. Okay, so that's our main pocket where we have this laptop compartment underneath. While I'm there, let's just stay in here. You have these removable Velcro uh, <laughs> adjuster organizer things. And they're fucking incredible specifically for when you have like gear oriented or specific needs for certain items in your bag. Like, for example, you might have like some photography accessories like lenses or things like that. This is a great example of that. Well, you could easily pull this thing down like this and now you have a shelf. Here's this pocket on this bag, right? Let's say I wanna put my lens down here. I'm, I only need one extra lens um, and I can move this closer so it's tighter there if I need to but then I'm gonna pull this pouch thing down. That means anytime I need to get that lens, I'm gonna have to, op I'm gonna have to pull whatever's on top of it, open that thing up, then I can get that lens, which I'm okay with, because I actually don't use this lens very often. I just want it in case I need it. So boom, I click that thing down, and now it's safely stowed somewhere, and I can put something else, other accessories, maybe a different camera, right? Right on top of that, and it's protected. Okay, so check this out. I had to move it. I had to just move it to get it closer. I put the lens in there just to show you like, dude, now it's tightly put away. I've got more space in this bag and I'm totally protected. In fact, I the where it goes is a perfect, this is my Fuji X100T, which is like my main family photo thing. I've actually loved taking photos with this thing. It is a blast and the images come out great. I just shoot straight to JPEG with their like chroma film style directly embedded in it. I don't even shoot raw to edit it all later. I just get it all out of the camera how it came. And that actually fits kind of perfectly right on top of there. And since this is the one that I'm grabbing all the time, I can just clip it right there, zip it in, and whenever I need it, it's right there on top of that actual lens, which I get way less often than I get this thing. And if I, I, I actually, because I don't use this sling, I normally have this on a rope like this, right? So it's normally just behind my back, like uh, like this, hanging out, and anytime I need to, I just do this, and I'm right here where I need to, to take the photo. So if I carried on this instead, I would probably just have, I would take that rope off. As it is, I have it on right now, 
and I can just throw it right in there and it's just perfect, it's right there and look how much more of the bag I actually have to use. So then I did the same thing on the other side where I clicked that little thing down. This is where like a like handful of, of accessories are gonna go like my Glyph, which is made from my friends Dan and Tom at Studio Neat. Such a great tool for connecting my iPhone to any tripod ever in a bunch of different ways. I'll put a link to this in the show notes. You gotta get a glyph if you're shooting on an iPhone at all. And you gotta shoot with an iPhone if you're not doing it at all. Because dude, we barely need these things. The iPhone is doing an amazing job these days. But anyways, I've got that hidden back in there. I don't have to, like it's like, it's safe, it's protected. I can add more stuff if I need to. And then I've just got like an old Panasonic GH2 to show you what I could also be putting in there if I needed more cameras, if I needed more gear. But this this right here is sort of how I'd, I'd rock. Like I could fit my water bottle and a little sweater and dude, I am like ready to go to the races. Oh my God, like what else do I fucking need? Like look at that little setup. If I was like a badass for a day doing a bunch of photography, I've got my gear here and look at this. We're not done, but wait, there's more. I can open up this pocket and inside of there, I have all of these little nice little pouches for the kinds of things you might need, like batteries, SD cards, and stuff like that. And more than that, some of them have black on the, the cover and some of them have red, just in case you wanted to use that and say, like, hey, here's all the, the used batteries and here's all the charged ones. This pocket to me is most useful as just a place to store my glasses case and my Bluetooth headphones, which uh, which is, you gotta have a place to put stuff like that. It's padded and it's nice and soft material. It's nice, it feels like it's gonna be well taken care of. So with all that gear now, I can close this thing up. It's light, it's simple, it's tight, it's comfortable on my body. You see how useful this kind of thing can be? But we ain't done yet. That's when we come over here to this pocket on the outside, which is our second pocket, our other main area, I've got my laptop charger, which easily fits in there, and some trail mix, because this pocket is big and gets big. Like I showed you earlier, we can expand this all the way out and even fit the size of effectively a water bottle right in there. I don't know if I believe it, so I gotta try this out. Pulling out my water bottle to see if we can get this sucker in there, and oh my God, folks, look at that. It fits like a glove. So now I got my water bottle on the outside of my gear where <laughs> just, where <laughs> thank God it won't leak on anything. No, you have to trust your water bottle very much. Never make those mistakes. Okay, so to give you a sense of the expandability on this, you could easily fit lots of things in here. Like for example, bigger headphones or more gear that you need to take with you, right? Or, or you just collapse this all the way down and it's out of the way and thin and just there, if you need it. Okay, so the organization in here is just tits on a ritz. Let me just pull this stuff out so you can see that these guys are just Velcroed in there, okay? And you can set them up however you like. By the way, when they're set up like this, you can also just plop that that way against the side so that you can easily just have room. Am I doing it well? There you go, like that, right? So you can, you can set up however you want. Do it. And so there is our space in the bag. And just to give you a sense of space, here's my 15 inch MacBook Pro. Let me see. If I just place that in there, okay, this is what we're looking with. Uh, this is what we're looking at. And it comes up above like that. Just too much to really make it worthwhile. But it also makes me think like, dude, you don't have to make it very much bigger to fit this. But then again, you also will have the weight of that 15 inch on you, et cetera. It's like, it's nice. It forces you to be minimal. And dude, minimal is freedom. By the way, nice little safety feature here. This guy has a little tab. This zipper has a little tab and you can just get it right through the, um, the attachment here, pull it over and kind of, and just do its little button tab thing. And now you're at least, you know, this pit pockets can't really get it. You're in Madrid and fucking the Madrid street pocket people. Paris, France, so bad in Paris. They kind of, they just don't understand it. They don't know how to get into it, right? And then obviously if someone stole your bag, they'll find their way into it. But it's a nice little safety feature for a lot of us. Which gets me to my second to last point on this bag is that actually when you compress this a bunch, okay, like this and get it really tightly down there, all right? It's kind of packable as something you can throw into your daily carry. It's still pretty burly, 
It's still, cause I, there's padding all through it. You know, it's made from this material that's really nice. You got the straps and things like that. Uh, and this is with nothing in it, right? We'd have to probably throw these in. And when I'm traveling, I would probably want to use this as a daily carry. I'd probably want some of those, maybe. This is kind of fun. You're walking around, you're walking around Paris, you're seeing the sights, you're doing the thing, and you've just got this on your back. And it's really minimal and tight. It fits just enough and not too much, right? It's sort of stylish. You don't look like every damn tourist out there. You might kind of be a local, maybe. Now, before I go, I just want to show you this, this speed sort of thing is awesome. It basically adjusts between two settings that you can, you, it will, first of all, it can adjust however you want to do it. But one of the cool things about this whole thing is you can make, there's further adjustments here. So I can pull it really loose and have it to be able to go really loose to medium, or I can pull it nice and tight and have it go really tight to medium, whichever way you prefer. And then there's a little strap back, a little place back here you can hide these guys out of the way so that there's no straps hanging and dangling around. One final little thing to note here is another Peak Design amazing handle. The same thing is true on their everyday backpack, which I love, uh, is they have these great handles. By the way, if you haven't seen their backpack, you're gonna wanna check out that review. Put a link in the, I put a link in the description to this because Peak Designs is making some of the most innovative, interesting bags out there, you might hate this. You might love this. You might hate or love their backpacks or their messenger bags. But I can't, uh, I, I have to admit that it got me thinking I would really love to be able to carry this regularly. Okay, excellent. Again, as that gear stuff, drone photography specifically, maybe there's other things you're thinking about. It's an awesome bag, so check it out. And if you use the link in the description below, this is a boon to me. It helps me at no cost to you to support the channel, keep the lights on, keep things running around here. I appreciate all of you who are clicking the link, who find this useful in your search for the right bag. I always tell you the truth. I'll tell you about this bag. I'll tell you about a bunch of other bags that complete directly with this bag, right? Right now, I'm just telling you about this one. If you've been thinking about it and you wanted to get a good look inside the bag, now you've got it. If you feel comfortable buying it, I love this company. Their support is excellent. Their vision and aesthetic is excellent. Their ethos and the values they have as a company is pretty fucking killer. So I like spending money on Peak Designs. And when you have one of their bags, you feel like you're, you'll know, you'll know the feeling. Like it's like, it's kind of nice to have a Peak Designs bag. So if you do purchase, use my link. I would appreciate it. If you don't want to, don't do it. It's up to you. Okay guys, that's it for right now. Thank you for watching. Thank you for considering and being thoughtful about the purchases that you make in your life. And I think the bags are a very interesting metaphor for the things we carry with us, both physically and emotionally. I hope your journey keeps keeps getting lighter as you find what is more and more and more essential to you. Journey well. Bye-bye. Bagworks.co Jaceries.net Those are the websites. I guess those are the websites. Yeah, yeah I guess so. Let's go check out what he's up to or something like that. Yeah, it looks nice.